Good afternoon. There are many things that are open to debate in America, but the right of all eligible citizens to vote is not one of them. The right to vote is the cornerstone of our democracy, the right from which all other rights ultimately flow. But in recent years, the protections of federal voting rights law have been drastically weakened. In 2013, the Shelby County decision effectively eliminated the preclearance protections of the Voting Rights Act, which had been the department's most effective tool to protect voting rights over the past half century. Since that opinion, there has been a dramatic rise in legislative efforts that will make it harder for millions of citizens to cast a vote that counts. So far this year, at least 14 states have passed new laws that make it harder to vote. And some jurisdictions, based on disinformation, have utilized abnormal post-election audit methodologies that may put the integrity of the voting process at risk and undermine public confidence in our democracy. As part of its mission to protect the right to vote, the Justice Department will, of course, do everything in its power to prevent election fraud and, if found, to vigorously prosecute it. But many of the justifications proffered in support of these post-election audits and restrictions on voting have relied on assertions of material vote fraud in the 2020 election that have been refuted by law enforcement and intelligence agencies of both this administration and the previous one, as well as by every court, federal and state, that has considered them. To meet the challenge of the current moment, we must rededicate the resources of the Department of Justice to a critical part of its original mission, enforcing federal law to protect the franchise for all voters. In 1961, Attorney General Robert Kennedy called into his office the newly appointed Attorney General, Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights, Burke Marshall, and Marshall's now first assistant, John Doerr. At that time, before the 1965 Act with its preclearance provision was enacted, the only way to guarantee the right of black Americans to vote was to bring individual actions in each county and parish that discriminate against them. Kennedy told his assistants that was what he wanted to do. Well, General, Burke Marshall replied, if you want that, we've got to have a lot more lawyers. Well, today, we are again without a preclearance provision. So again, the Civil Rights Division is going to need more lawyers. Accordingly, today I am announcing that within the next 30 days, we will double the Division's enforcement staff for protecting the right to vote. We will use all existing provisions of the Voting Rights Act, the National Voter Registration Act, the Help America Vote Act, and the Uniform and Overseas Citizens Absentee Voting Act to ensure that we protect every qualified American seeking to participate in our democracy. Thanks to all of your work, the Department of Justice will always stand up to ensure the survival of the central pillar of our democracy. Thank you.